Buju, Kitamagi and Nene Ireland Indigenous Cast, and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's episode, Chapter 7, Lesson 5 Hands On Generating Patterns. We'll begin with our sneak peek of where our assignment will be today. And you can see it starts with the, the introductory page about using, making models. And this was the toothpick model. It can also be done with pencil. You can see that figure one had four. Figure two had those four plus one, two, three, and four. And basically we keep adding up. So as we went by each figure, the number of two toothpicks increased by four, or you take this number and multiply it by four. So the next one, we had figure one, two, and three. You'd have to figure out how many toothpicks were in figure four. Same on number two. Number three, it turned it into the, you use a chart here. And reading a chart is a valuable piece of finding the patterns. So leads us to the essential question of how are patterns used to solve problems? And you could see that already with the preview that we were able to figure out in each figure how many toothpicks would be present based on a pattern. And you're going to start in your textbook today on page 507. If you do not have the textbook page, you should pause the video and go get it. If you are lacking one, use a sheet of notebook paper. The expectation is that you will follow along as we go, copying down the portions that I put into the lesson. That way you have something to look back on and reference when doing the assignment or studying for any sort of assessment. And we start with the first one here. And this is also found on page 507. Pattern below was made from toothpicks. The first figure uses four toothpicks. The second figure uses seven. The third uses 10. Assume the pattern continues. Well, our first step is, so we had four, seven, 10. So we're going up by what number? The difference between four and seven is three more. The difference between seven and 10 is three more. So what do you suspect that we'll be adding to figure four? If you said three more, you're correct. We will have 13, four, seven, 10, 13. And you would see it, there's my annotation tool here. We can check my work. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So we're good to go. Make sure you have that thirteen written in there. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the drawings. And as a reminder, anytime I say clear the drawings, you are welcome to pause the video in order to finish writing it down and unpause it when you're ready. We'll clear the drawings now. Step two, use toothpicks to model the fifth figure, draw the results below. So it's gonna be basically the same thing I just, just did. Four, seven, 10, 13, that's figure four. Figure five, and you should see the pattern here because we had four, seven, 10, 13, and we're going to add six. So I'm going to draw it just to follow the directions. Four, seven, 10, 13, and 16. You would use 16 because we're increasing by three every time. Let's go ahead and write 16 on that line there 
And you could make a chart out of this. And that'll be coming up in step three on the top of the next page as we go on. So make sure you have this color covered in. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the drawings now. Step three is to make a new chart. So on figure one, we had four. Figure two, we had seven. Figure three, we had 10. Figure four, we had 13. Figure five, we had 16. Um, and what do we notice about the number of toothpicks needed for each new figure? Add three. I'd even accept something like this in most cases. And to go ahead and fill this out, 16 plus three is 19. 19 plus three is 22. Make sure you have that colored in and we'll go on to the talk about it at the bottom of 508. Couple more seconds there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the drawings. Let's see. You couldn't say increases by three versus add three. I would accept either or. Talk about it. Using your rule, how many toothpicks would be needed for the eighth, ninth, and tenth figure? So let's think about what we just had here. Grab your annotation tool. We're going to work together on this step. So if I had four, seven, and ten, what were our next ones from before? We added three. Ten plus three is? You're right, 13. 13 plus three is? Good, 16. 16 plus three is? Nishin, 19. 19 plus three is? 22. And that came from the previous um, example. So you should see this as familiar and you could have copied it in. But now what do we need for the eighth figure? 22 plus three is? And 25 plus 3 is 28. And realistically, you could keep going. Um, and you could get to the 100th figure, which would be 301. Because um, you eventually in middle school you'll start getting options to write a rule and you'll find out that if this figure was n realistically the formula to get this is three times n plus one so whatever figure it is and this isn't on the assignment this is just a little enrichment so in figure 99 It'd be 99 times 3, which is 297 plus 1. It'd be 298. A thousandth figure would be a 3001. And this is because of patterns. Again, you only have to worry about here. Uh, this is a step that will be added in middle and high school. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clear the drawings. You see that we were correct. All right, the second one here using math tools. Create a new pattern. Start with figure one again. Add six toothpicks for each new figure as shown. Complete the table to show the number of toothpicks used for each figure. So what is our, uh, we're gonna fill in the chart here and we can look, we have four toothpicks with one, two with 10, three was 16. So we went up six. We went up six. And we're going to keep adding six. So 16 plus six is 22. 22 plus six is 28. 28 plus six is 34. 
and 34 plus 6 is 40. We just keep adding. Make sure you have those written in. Give me a couple more seconds. And I'll go ahead and clear the drawing. You see that we did well. Compare the pattern in exercise two to the pattern and activity on the previous page. In the previous page, the number of toothpicks in figure two is blank less than figure two for exercise two. And in figure two, originally was seven. In this case, it was 10, so it was three less. I'm gonna put this where you can just write it in here for us. For figure three, it's six less. For figure four, it's nine less. And that will, uh, Give you an example that obviously the in the second activity it's going up at a much higher rate it's going up three three plus another three on each one all right so i'm going to go ahead and bring us to the practice look for oh let's one more here now this is a practice one you guys are going to try. For each pattern, find the number of two picks needed for the first, the next figure. So in figure one had one, two, three, four. Figure two had how many? Count them yourself. Figure three had How many toothpicks will you need in figure four? And how is this pattern different from the pattern in the activity? I want you to pause your video, figure out that portion of it, unpause the video, and we'll see how you did. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. So figure four needed 10. The pattern is formed by the border toothpicks. So the number of toothpicks needed is less. So we went four, six, eight and the next one would be 10 the next one would be 12. we're essentially adding two in each of these all right number five let's do that one another practice how many toothpicks will be needed in figure four go ahead pause the video and come back when you're ready you may pause the video now welcome back let's see how you did and the answer is nine toothpicks. So we went three, six, th sorry, three, then one, two, three, four, five, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You start seeing we're going up by two. The next one is nine. All right, at this point, I'm going to dismiss you to the homework. And you can see that from our previous, we're finding out in numbers one and two two, how many toothpicks in figure four, but also what is the pattern um, between numbers one and two? Uh, how do the patterns compare? So you're gonna wanna know kind of similar to number you know similar to number three in the segment teaching segment there then on number three the table shows the height in centimeters each plant grew during a week compare soon the patterns continue compare the growth and height of each plant so you're going to make a statement about the growth rates in plant a and plant b although it's a short assignment it's important to be able to consider the patterns. If you have any questions, reach out to me at miisagchipschool.net, visit us during office hours, or send me an email. Um, I hope you all have a minogijigad, minwa, bama pee.